Our Potomac River, the source of water for all things life in a majority of the Washington region. Behind me here, we have historic water levels that are low relative to this time of year. There are implications, folks, because of this water level lowering for our daily lives. I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller. This is your Science for Everyone segment for today, and we're going to focus on the Potomac River, the water levels of the Potomac River, and off my right shoulder, you can see that there are indications that the level of the Potomac is low relative to where it has been in the past. Let's take a look. A couple of maps to show you here. The watershed of the Potomac River, everything that you see on this map showing up that is that circle of blue around it is the area that feeds the Potomac River. Both forks, the North Fork, the, fork, the South Fork, and even the Shenandoah River flows into the Potomac River, actually, and we see that at Harper's Ferry. All 673 miles of the Potomac fed by this almost 15,000 thousand square mile area and it's actually under a moderate drought. 91% of the watershed currently showing up here on the map in that darker brown is currently under a moderate drought. And another one or actually 9% of that region where our watershed right now is under what we call abnormally dry conditions. The water levels for this time of year, looking at the graph that we're showing you here, are historically low. The averages up into the five and 6,000 range for these dates in the triangles that you see on this graph and the actual levels well at and around 2000 indicate that we are dealing with a water level that is actually low for this time of year, way low than what we would typically see. Now, here's the issue. A pumping station directly off my shoulder and upriver takes water and feeds it to our homes for all things daily in life. And if that water level drops below the pipe that sucks the water out, we only have one day of reserve water in reservoirs upstream to help alleviate that situation. So that brings in the final component, water conservation. We have to look at how we can do things to conserve water around our homes because the meteorological drought that we're dealing with right now that can be alleviated really quickly with rain is another issue relative to the hydrological drought that our region is experiencing relative to water supply. Watch that water use at home and in the gardens and on your lawns and hopefully with rain coming here in the near future, we can get ourselves out of this drought condition and get these water levels up to where they should be for this time of year. I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller.